night, there's action in the Senate to try and block the nomination for Secretary of Education nominee Betsy DeVos. Right now, it looks as if Democrats and Republicans are split on her appointment, and Vice President Mike Pence is set to cast a historic tie-breaking vote. DCW 50's Joe Dominguez is live tonight on Capitol Hill, where this fight continues. Senate Democrats will be up all night debating the DeVos appointment. That's ahead of a vote that's scheduled for noon here at the Capitol on whether or not she will become the Secretary of Education. But all of this effort happening tonight got kicked off with a rally that drew hundreds. Educators across the nation, including D.C. special education teacher Katherine Chesterson, say their message is clear. I am here today to add my voice to the millions of educators, parents, students, and community members who stand opposed to Betsy DeVos's confirmation as Secretary of Education. I have received tens of thousands of letters and phone calls from my constituents. This is a crowd that can speak for the many across the U.S., contacting their senators, pleading with them to block the confirmation of Betsy DeVos, the Secretary of Education. They say she doesn't have the education to do the job and would take public schools in the wrong direction. Ladies and gentlemen, I've never seen such an unqualified nominee to serve as Secretary of Education. It's not just elected leaders saying DeVos doesn't pass the test. I have teachers in my family, though. They work very hard for their students, and they're very concerned about the effect that Betsy DeVos would have if appointed. Melanie Pino is from Maryland and decided it was time to make a sign and join the fight. We well, we just need one better. more vote, we so that's what we're here to do, to put the pressure on. We need one more vote. One more vote is a rallying cry. If they get one more Republican senator to change their mind about DeVos, it would mean that the vice president does not have that final say on this decision. But at this point, it's not clear who that Republican senator could be that would change their vote. Reporting live at Capitol Hill, Joe Dominguez, DCW 50 News at 10. Thank you very much, Joe.